in the parliament, the situation is still the same. There's ruckus, there's commotion taking place. Both houses of the parliament, Lok Sabha, the lower house of the parliament, Rajya Sabha, also have now been adjourned. There is a de continuous and repeated sloganeering that is taking place by the opposition netas. And every time a minister in the government stands uh, to make a statement, the opposition is demanding a discussion on the Pegasus. As of uh, what has happened in return, both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha have now been adjourned. Kamaljeet Sandhu is on the ground outside the parliament. She's tracking all the latest. Kamaljeet, over to you because uh, with both houses adjourned, is the issue again Pegasus or is there perhaps more demands that are coming in from the opposition parties? Over to you, Kamal. We'll be seeing a fairy sessions of parliament happening and today also yet again uh, the speaker of Lok Sabha addressed uh, the house and says uh, the decorum of the house needs to be maintained. Now the opposition has been saying that the Modi government has been shying away from a debate on Pegasus. Now remember uh, Ashwini Vaishnav has made, the IT minister has made a statement in Lok Sabha uh, but they wanted a debate, they wanted discussion and they wanted none other than the Home Minister and the Prime Minister to address the House and address the issue. Now we saw the bite of the opposition come together here at uh, Vijay Chowk and uh, they were saying uh, that there is a time and there is a requirement as far as uh, discussion on the issue is concerned, uh, saying this is a direct attack on the democracy of India. Now the opposition uh, may be saying something, uh, but the government is saying that the opposition is not allowing the House to run. Anurag Thakur, who is the IB Minister, said uh, that uh, as far as the opposition is concerned, the way they have been tearing papers, uh, they have no respect for uh, the temple of democracy. Uh, so we see a massive blame game which is being played out in the parliament. But what is happening is a loss as far as the exchequer is concerned. Each session, each day is costing 10 crore rupees. Uh, with uh, the house in pandemonium means there is little or no discussion happening. Now the bills were passed amidst din in the house. Uh, today also uh, there is a bill which is being tabled by Nirbala Sitaraman in the upper house uh, where uh, BJP does not have the numbers. Uh, but yes, once the bills need to be passed, the house does continue for some time. But we've seen repeated adjournments okay. and hardly any business take place. This is obviously an indication that the entire house of the session, despite a reach out from the Modi government, is likely to be a washout. Kamalji, please keep tracking all the latest uh, washout, it appears, despite so many bills that are set for discussion or even passage. But all of that for now getting adjourned. Remember, this is taxpayers' money, important bills had to be passed. Is it worth all the disruption that's taking place there in the parliament? And all of it is on the Snoop Gate, the Pegasus showdown that continues to rock the parliament. The opposition, led by the Congress party, is accusing the Modi government of avoiding a discussion on the Pegasus. They are not convinced with simply a statement from the IT minister. The centre has hit back calling opposition protests a desperate bid to stall the working of the parliament. Anand Patel, my colleague with the latest here from the ground. Ruckus, sloganeering, and hangama. That's Wednesday's proceedings in Parliament in a nutshell. The centre and opposition are in a relentless face-off. At the centre of it all, the Pegasus Spygate scandal. Congress MP Rahul Gandhi chaired a meeting of opposition leaders on Wednesday. Fourteen opposition parties came together to move adjournment motion notice over Pegasus. As a united opposition forced adjournments, there are indications that ten opposition MPs may be suspended for their unruly behavior. Narendra Modi ji ne aur Amit Shah ji ne हिंदुस्तान की लोकतंत्रिक आत्मा पर चोट मारी है इसीलिए हम पेगसस पे डिस्कशन चाहते हैं और इसीलिए हम पेगसस पे डिस्कशन होने से पहले हम कहीं नहीं जाएंगे राहुल गांधी आल्सो रिजेक्टेड प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी के एक्यूजेशन ऑफ ब्लॉकिंग पार्लियामेंट हम पार्लियामेंट हाउस को डिस्टर्ब नहीं कर रहे हैं हम सिर्फ हमारी जो जिम्मेदारी है उसे पूरा करना चाहते हैं और मैं सिर्फ एक कांग्रेस पार्टी का नेता नहीं बोल रहा हूं हर एक पार्टी का नेता आपको यह बताएगा 
कि हम सिर्फ अपनी जिम्मेदारी पूरा करना चाह रहे हैं वो विरोध कर सकते हैं लेकिन उसकी भी एक मर्यादा है मर्यादाओं को तोड़ने का काम आज जो कांग्रेस और तृणमूल कांग्रेस के सांसदों ने किया है उसकी जितनी निंदा की जाए उतनी कम है जो अपनी बात रखेंगे इवन दो दोजिशन हैज ओपन मल्टीपल फ्रांस अगेंस्ट द मोदी गवर्नमेंट over issues ranging from pegasus to farm laws the unity is shaky the absence of trinamool congress at rahul's meet has raised eyebrows the tmc claimed its leaders are busy organizing mamta banerjee's meeting in the capital meanwhile the west bengal chief minister who is on a mission to unite the opposition met congress president sonia gandhi later in the day देखिए बीजेपी को हराने के लिए सबको एक होना जरूरी है हम अकेला कुछ नहीं है सब एक साथ में मिलकर काम करने पड़ेगा डिस्पाइट ऑपोजिशन एम पी स्टेपिंग ऑफ देर एफर्ट्स टू स्टॉल प्रोसीडिंग द गवर्नमेंट हैज मैनेज टू पास बिल्स इन बोथ द हाउसेज अमिट इन सो वाइल अ डिस्कशन ओवर पेगस स्नूपिंग लुक्स अनलाइकली इट हैज सर्टनली ब्रॉड द ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज टूगेदर मच टू द डिस्कम्फर्ट ऑफ द बीजेपी with camera person parminder sharma this is anand patel in new delhi for india today